Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how to make a classic southern dish, cabbage. It's easy to make, delicious, packed with nutrients and fiber, and we're going to, even going to do it in the crock pot. Stay tuned. Now I'm going to be using about a two to three pound head of cabbage. It's got a core in there. First thing we want to do is cut that out. So just take a large sharp knife, cut right down the center of that core. It can be tough to cut through this, but just be careful so you don't cut yourself. Cut it into halves and you can see the core right there. What we want to do is take that knife and make angular cuts on either side of that core and then one cut up under and it'll pop right out of there. Discard that, throw that away. You also want to take the first two layers of the leaves and just peel those off. It's full of dirt and God only knows what else and discard those. That leaves you with two halves, then cut those two halves in half. Next, chop the cabbage up into the size pieces that you want. I usually try to vary the size pieces. Place them into a bowl, run them under cold water, give it a good rinse. Now I boil a ham hock I'm going to put that in the crock pot along with some sweet Vidalia onions and then I'm going to cover that with some chicken broth. I'm using the broth from the ham hock. You can use store-bought package broth if you don't have that. Then just cover it up. About eight cups is what you're going to need. And then put your chopped up cabbage in the crock pot and then top it off with some onion. You can use, uh, if you have some regular bacon, you can cook that up, but I didn't have any, so I'm just using the package stuff. Give it a mix. You may have to adjust the liquid a little bit. But then after you get that, put a cap on it, cook it for about three to four hours until that cabbage is tender. And then at the end, be sure and taste it so you can salt and pepper to taste. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Go ahead and bowl it up. Top it off with some more bacon. Red pepper flakes for just a touch of heat. And of course, some parsley for a little green color. And there you go. A great meal, nutritious, delicious, and so easy to make. Hey, all of the ingredients is listed in the description box below the video along with the directions. Click that show more and it'll pull it up. Hey guys, a great southern dish. I hope you guys give this a try. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, bye-bye y'all.